Yung old namin sir yan ha, dahil wala tayo license sir ha. Babalikan namin. Babalikan namin ulit, kukunin na namin license. Hindi namin kayo papayagan sir mag-drive kasi wala kayo license eh. Hindi may license nga sir, may iniwala namin. Kasi yung binili... Hindi na sir, dahil yung nga dala at tatay mo papreensyon sir, wala kayo license. Mayroon nga sir license. Nasaan nga? Ano nga kinuha ng checkpoint? Kaya nga sir, sino ba yung driver? Ikaw? Hindi yung babae. Oo. Sana umanap ng may driver, may license. Hindi nga sir, yung nga iniwan niya nga yung driver license niya. Yung babae nga sana umanap ng... Ikaw may license ka? Yung nga siya yung nagdadrive noon, nahuli kami. Ay ikaw? Yung nga siya, nagdadrive siya ngayon, kasi nang checkpoint ngayon, kaya pinakausap nila sa akin. Oo. Ikaw ang driver ngayon, yung babae ang kinuha ng license. Opo, kasi sa akin yan, kasi siya nagdrive kahapon. Oo. Siya naman talang nagdadrive yan. Oo, siya nagdadrive, siya nahuli kahapon. Kasi ikaw ngayon ang nagdadrive, dapat ikaw may license. Hindi nga sir, siya ang nagdadrive. Ikaw ang nagdadrive eh. Hindi nga sir. Mamaya sir, pagkuha namin, babalik kami. Hindi, hold namin, dapat hindi namin papaya kayaan. Hold na din. Sige sir, magpabahay na lang kami kung ano. Dapat sir, dapat. Dapat kami kung ano baka. Sir, bribery ang ginagawa niyo sir ha. Kasi kanina narinig ko, bribery. Ano ko ba inaalok sa inyo? Nag-aalok kasi sir ng bayad. Sabi, babayaran na lang. I unloaded from the bus and I'm now going to apprehend those who are inside the bus lane when they should not be. This is meant to be an exclusive bus lane. You see motorcycles, taxis. I thought this rider was going to try and run away. I was thinking that's going to be difficult because he doesn't have a plate, but he has stopped. You see the sign there, bus lane. The taxi passenger probably thought this is great. I have an express ride. And now it's been delayed because they're being apprehended by IACT. As soon as the taxi driver opened the door, I felt a wave of heat come out from inside. So I'm guessing their aircon isn't working either. I do hate that when you pay because you want comfort and then you end up in a really hot taxi. Anyway, you'll see all of those riders are being ticketed now. But it's obviously not just motorcycles. There's plenty of private vehicles also being apprehended. And if you're wondering, yes, they're already putting forces at the end to make sure that the buses won't go in here and get stuck. I'm sure that everyone driving past this will be so happy because I regularly hear people say the same thing. Why am I following the rules, using the right lanes, and then people are flying past me inside the bus lane? Why are some people special to use the bus lane? So that's probably why everyone's so happy as they go past. See, big thumbs up. Many of the riders have already been ticketed, meaning they can leave now. Although, as you know, the enforcers are deputized by LTO, so they're confiscating the license. Basically, they're like Pokemon, gotta catch them all. They're collecting every license. They pulled forward some more riders, and they'll be able to get their ticket and move on. It's kind of lucky for them, because the cars will be here for much, much longer, since they cannot just slide up the side. The enforcers are also walking along, and then getting the license from each car. So by the time they get to the front, they can just leave immediately because they're already ticketed. Aside from the overhead signs, there are also road level signs. There are lane markings. There are barriers. There's pretty much weekly media coverage. So if somebody says to you, I didn't know it's a bus lane, it would be a little bit hard to believe. And I know, and I hear this all the time, that people are going to say, but I drive there all the time. And I see other people driving there all the time. That might be true but it is still a bus lane. And if you get caught, you get ticketed. This rider has a nice bike, nice accessories, nice helmet, but unfortunately no driver's license. He said he's still working on that. There's a little kitten that keeps trying to come in the bus lane. And then I act to keep trying to put him back through the fence. It's a very naughty kitty. It's too dangerous here. He thinks it's a game. Hopefully the security guard can come over and grab him. And just behind that one, a couple more taxis and a whole bunch of private vehicles. They will really be surprised. They will waste a lot of time. Some of these drivers may be stuck for 30 minutes, could even be up to 60 minutes if you're at the very back. So next time they'd think, wow, I don't want to use the bus lane because if I get caught, cool, it's going to waste a lot of time. Aside from the financial penalty, having to get the license back from LTO and everything like that. This one has a lot of stickers. But anyway, he already handed over his license, so I'll quickly write out the tickets, send them on their way. ORCR, no problems. There's another taxi here, and that looks like an airport taxi behind it. If you're curious, DOTR did recently release a memo 
basically reinstating who is allowed inside the bus lane and I'll put that on the screen for you to read and I also heard that maybe there'll be a department order soon and potentially there could be higher penalties but those are just rumors I haven't actually counted how many taxis have been apprehended but it seems like a very high number and if you're on the road every day as a professional driver it's more likely that you would know better than anyone else what the rules of the road are and you would monitor things like memos from MMDA, DOTR you would monitor operations you'd be a lot more active compared to a regular private civilian driver right that just goes to the office and home again what often happens is that when there's an operation like this people will post on Facebook and say don't go in the bus lane there's an operation really what they should be saying is don't go in the bus lane because it's for buses right it's like a drive through but instead of you getting something you end up giving something your license and then you have to collect it back from LTO honestly I think that's a scarier deterrent for most people the hassle of having their license confiscated it's not really the penalty that many people care about look at that taxi 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 my goodness I mean I get it that they want to have a fast turnaround and pick up more passengers but there really seems to be a disproportionately high number of taxis in the bus lane. Do you remember before when a huge percentage of vehicles were private contractors working on government projects? That seems to have been massively reduced, probably in part due to the memo that was released. And I must say there's a better mix of vehicles today. They're not all high-end luxury vehicles, although some are. That guy was actually taking a selfie with the enforcer. Well, it's a memory, I guess, right? But it's also a deterrent because they're going to take your license and they're going to issue you with a penalty. That would go against your driving record also. So it's a learning experience. Everyone makes mistakes, right? I feel like I'm going to be repetitive, but I just can't get over how many taxis are here. And then you see the motorcycles. A lot of them are either motorcycle taxis or delivery riders, right? I'm not saying they're the only ones because you can see clearly there's a mix, but there's a certain percentage, right? I just realized the Ayak guy is still trying to get that cat to take a safe place to rest. Actually, I let him climb on me earlier. He was just resting on my shirt and my bag. And then he climbed onto one of the other guys. I don't think those riders realize that they're about to be ticketed, even the MC taxi, along with these cars and pretty much everybody. Oh, there you go. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that. The guy in the background shouted, good job, as he drove past. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So apart from one guy, I can't recall seeing anyone that was, you know, argumentative today. Pretty much everyone has given their license without any fuss, at least those that I've seen. I was actually surprised that in some of my previous videos people commented saying why don't you let the private vehicles go into the bus lane to reduce traffic. That's not how it works. If you let private vehicles into the bus lane it will just become congested like every other lane. The purpose of the bus lane is to prioritize buses, public transport. These buses have only one lane on EDSA but they move hundreds of thousands of commuters. Let that settle into your head compared to private vehicles, which according to MMDA statistics before, they say that most private vehicles only have one person inside. So it's very hard to dispute how effective and how efficient the exclusive bus lane is. That driver did try to show some kind of ID. In fact, he's still trying to show them. But what the enforcer wants is the license ORCR. Obviously, if you read the comments on the other videos, you can see a lot of people saying that my motorcycle taxi driver took me into the bus lane and I don't feel safe so even the passengers themselves are complaining this one's gonna be a double whammy for the business owner two of his vehicles have been apprehended they have the same company name on the side so anyway they can explain it to the boss later I guess he might even be the one that told them take the bus lane so you can get there faster right the penalty is not that high and as I've mentioned in previous videos, the busway is exclusive to the Carousel City buses. Provincial buses and P2P buses are not allowed inside here. The idea is that it's a very organized and strict system for city buses. This is obviously an airport taxi and that might be an airport vehicle behind it. 
Thankfully, there's no passengers trying to rush to the airport because, of course, those are taxis usually taking people home from the airport. I didn't realize there's a whole bunch more motorcycles here. I understand that they're working, so they want to make the most of their time on the road, but it's really a bus lane. I actually saw the SUV back here flashing his headlights. I think he doesn't yet realize. Well, maybe now that the enforcer's walked along, he's realized. But before that, I think he didn't realize the reason why they're all stuck here is because they're being ticketed. I would wonder, is it a genuine emergency or are they just a member of the Hazard Hazard gang? I guess if it was an emergency, they would have gone down already and said to enforcers, look, I have someone in the car, they're dying, we're rushing to the hospital. Right, something like that. Actually, I'll tell you the truth. During the last operation, there were a few people who said, I have an emergency, I'm rushing to the hospital. And then later they admitted there was no emergency, they're not going to the hospital. And then the other driver said, well, it's a scheduled checkup we're going to, which is obviously not you know, a life and death emergency. So that's why when people ask me, can you use the bus lane if it's an emergency? The problem is, what's your definition of emergency? What about the guy from before who said he's rushing to a meeting because he's late, right? Maybe for some people, being late to a meeting is an emergency. Anyway, the driver has handed over their license, ORCR, everything. It's all in one nice little package, making it easy for the enforcers. And in fact, I just verified now if they're in some kind of emergency, and the enforcer said no. This cat keeps trying to go back in the bus lane. There he goes now with the security guard. I even tried to scare the cat a little bit, but nothing's working. It just insists on going in the bus lane.